Hey guys, it's Liz Mew and welcome back to another recipe video. I hope you're enjoying these videos and if this is your first time on this channel, welcome. Today we're making the Korean bungo bang, which literally means fish bread, but I think sweet red bean pocket waffle sounds so much better, so I'm gonna go with that. And these are just so good and so easy. And it only has a few ingredients. You wanna start with one cup of flour, a quarter teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and one tablespoon of sugar. Now I'm also adding one teaspoon of glutinous rice flour. If you don't have any, you don't need to use it. It just adds a really nice kind of sticky, like mochi-like texture, which is kind of signature to the bunga bun. I'm adding one cup and one tablespoon of water and giving everything a really good mix. I'm trying to avoid any lumps, but just to make sure I'm gonna pass it through a sieve as well until the batter is nice and smooth like this. So you're gonna need some sweet red bean paste and I'm cheating today. I'm using a pre-made uh, can with some chestnut in it. I don't know what the brand is, but this is what it looks like on the inside. And you can find this at any Asian grocery. It doesn't necessarily have to be a Korean one. They would sell it at a Chinese one or wherever. I'm also using a fish shaped waffle iron. I'm guessing a lot of people don't have these. You don't have to go ahead and buy one, um, but you can use a sandwich press, one of those ones that you can fill with like cheese and veggies. Uh, one of those ones will work really well or even just a normal waffle iron. I'm just heating mine up now on really low heat. That's really important. Um, just heat it up on both sides before we brush it with some oil and you only need a tiny, tiny bit of oil. So to fill the molds, I am starting by filling the molds about a third of the way full, and then I'm gonna add some red bean paste. Now I'm adding about one to two teaspoons. If you are feeling game, you can try and add a bit more, but it, they can be very easily overfilled. So don't try and go too hardcore. Just fill the rest of the mold up with the batter and try and cover all the beans. This is really important. I also like to take my spoon and push the beans under as well as I'm doing right now, just so that they don't stick to the mold because then your fish is gonna fall apart. I'm just adding a little bit more mixture to cover any beans that might be sticking out because I want these fish to turn out really well. I'm gonna go ahead and close the waffle iron up. I'm gonna set the time up for three minutes and let them cook. Try not to be tempted to turn the heat up because they will burn very easily. After three minutes, flip it over, cook it for another three minutes on that low heat, and then you should have these beautiful, golden, crispy on the outside, hot on the inside waffles. Don't they just look beautiful? I think they look amazing, even with some red beans sticking out due to my lack of skills. Anyway, these guys are actually very similar as the Japanese taiyaki, which you may have seen before. But those are actually uh, sea bream, which is a kind of fish, and this is supposed to be a carp. So that's one main difference, but also these guys are more like a waffle and those are, the taiyaki are supposedly more like um, a cake. But I love these guys so much. Look at that. That is one crispy looking fish. Ooh la la. Swim away, little fish. Swim away. Kidding. I'm going to eat you all up. You look so delicious. This is the only fish that I will eat. A vegan fish. The Korean bunga bang. And these guys are crispy on the outside. They do get soggy very quickly though. So eat them while they're hot, while they're crispy, sticky and chewy like a mochi with a sweet red bean inside. Hope you enjoyed this video guys. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like, comment below. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye.